One, there's not just one impact from the big uh, hunger issue we have in, in Beaverton. I think that it affects everyone. It affects kids who uh, are not coming to school ready to learn. And then it's also uh, just a, a broader reflection of the challenges a lot of families are facing right now because of uh, economic difficulties. I can see the sands on the Volunteering at food banks can be helpful. Getting involved with your church groups uh, was important to go and uh, work in soup kitchens downtown for people who are both homeless and obviously have hunger issues. But I think there's a lot of opportunities to pitch in and draw greater awareness to, to the problem for people who might not know just uh, how big it is. Uh, everyone can pitch in and there's always someone that's not as well off as, as you are, so uh, everyone can contribute. I think there's information out there. Can be, you know, I don't think you have to look too hard to get help. I wish I could make it easy. The community, I'll start with students. Um, if you're hungry, it's hard to be a good student. But it's not a kid's fault if they're hungry. It affects the community because if you have families in that situation, that leads to stress in families. And I could think of, you know, as a parent, I could think of nothing more difficult than facing the fact that you can't feed your own child and the desperation, you know, that it can lead to. So. Oh, absolutely. The, the free and reduced lunch program has been around since World War II, and it's a really important government program, but the parents have to initiate it, they have to fill out the forms. Oh yeah, I mean, there, there's, in terms of the Beaverton community, there's certainly ways that you can contribute to you know, various programs that help feed people. And of course, we, at our school, we have the Beaver Den. So this is a priority. This is a base human need, and, and the government needs to be acting, you know, to help people as much as possible. Certain times a year, people are reminded of the need to be charitable or, or the importance of being charitable. And I think, you know, in our community, I think a lot of people are aware of that, and I think the, the community has been generous. People sometimes lose sight of the fact that you could still you know, be an activist and fight for those kinds of things that would help. Um, you know, not totally. There's a lot of resources out there. And it takes, it's sometimes like a full-time job to find all the resources and, and, and to sort of find out. I mean, just on hunger, you'd have everything from food stamps to student meal programs to food pantries to, you know, and then, and then you know, other issues of homelessness, which are often intertwined with that. I mean, to navigate all of it is not, is not easy. A lot of it requires owning a car to get there, to learn about it, to know about it, or the internet to look things up. You know, so there, there's certainly some barriers to finding out. Uh, sometimes we can be a little dismissive of people um, thinking that it's pretty easy to get help. <laughs>